What is up everyone? My name is Tony with uh, formerly Tony's Timepiece Review and uh, I have a new channel now called Talking Timepieces with Tony. Long story, I still have the other channel. I just can't get onto it and do anything, edit, log on, comment, anything. Problem with Google, it's uh, kind of been a nightmare and so that's why I haven't posted anything but at the same time uh, I don't want that to stop me. Um, it sucks because I was getting a lot of momentum and traction on that channel. I had it since 2016. I still have the channel, just can't log on. So that's a whole other story. But uh, anyway, so I figured I would do my first video um, and I wasn't sure which watch I was gonna do. Uh, I was gonna do my Rolex and my Cartier, whatever. And then I decided to just do the first or my last watch I just bought last Sunday. Today is Thursday. So it is a Mont Blanc Heritage 40 millimeter with salmon dial. This watch is gorgeous. And I'm gonna tell you a little bit about it. There was a video by someone who, uh, I don't know who it is actually. He's basically, uh, did a did a review on this watch and said, well, I don't know why they call it a heritage since Mont Blanc only started making watches in uh, 2003. Um, so I'm going to kind of clarify that a little bit. And uh, if you see a cat in the background, I got Uku and I've got Paco. They're both crazy. And the minute I start filming is when they start deciding they want to interrupt and distract me. But either way, um, in the meantime, I do hope you like and subscribe to my new channel. It really means a lot to me, and I really want to. I really hope that I can get this channel way surpass what my last channel did. So um, I do thank you for viewing this and watching. So please like and subscribe. You know. Um, so anyway, my AD had uh, sent me a text. I have a great relationship with my AD, um, and let's see. There we go. And he texted me this watch. Picture of this watch. Uh, I essentially went down, this is a couple of months ago, I went down there, or maybe a month ago, I went down there to look at it, and I almost bought it, and then instead, I bought a Nomos. So I did not buy this watch. Uh, a few weeks go by, I'd been thinking about it, this watch was kind of nagging at me, and I thought, you know what, I think I'm going to have another look at it. So... I did. I actually went down there. I was going to buy another Omega, and then I ended up buying this watch. So I'm glad I have it. Sorry, I have a new camera, um, and the focus is trying to focus on my cat. So it's kind of crazy. Um, but let me clarify some things. All right, it's a 40, 40 millimeter case, um, polished stainless steel, signed crown, signed buckle. It has a beautiful gray alligator strap, large grain. I'm sorry, I don't know why the camera's doing what it's doing. It's a new camera, so I apologize. Um, there we go. Um, large grain, slightly polished with bolstering, which means it's slightly padded and it's extremely comfortable. This watch, I would say if you love Patek Philippe Calatrava or you like GG Le Coupe, um, things of that, for the price point, this is a great alternative, affordable or alternative. Watch retails at about 2,500 bucks, but I'll tell you what, the fit and finishing and, and uh, whoever made this watch knows what they're doing as far as watchmaking goes. I mean, there's nothing slouchy here. So it has applied our Markers at the 12, 3, 6, and 9. On the rest of the hour markers are little dots. And then just outside of those hour markers are little tiny loom dots. Which actually produce pretty good loom. Um, the dial, salmon dial, on the inside of the dial is sunray finished. And it almost looks like it domes around like as the domed sapphire crystal does. On the outer ring, it's kind of a, a cobblestone type finish, which is beautiful. And then you have the outer outer ring. And so this, this, this watch is insane. Um, 
Minerva, okay, so how, how is it that someone can sit there and say, okay, this may watch, uh, you know, fucking Nomos, uh, not Nomos, uh, Mont Blanc start making watches in 2003. Well, uh, initially, Minerva, uh, the watch brand Minerva uh, started in 1858 by a couple of brothers. Um, they were known for making chronograph movements. And uh, by, I think, 1887 is when they started you know, really making watches, branding watches. And that's when uh, Minerva Villarier uh, was formed, or the name anyway, not the, the company. Um, and they were known for making very high-end exclusive chronograph timepieces, timepieces in general. Um, then the company was bought and then it was sold. Around the 1970s, we had the quartz crisis and Minerva kind of just went belly up, um, which, you know, sucked for them. But uh, in 1929, they changed the name to Minerva SA again. So in 70s, the, the company kind of went belly up, but it wasn't completely belly up. In 2006, the Richmond Group bought Minerva and the Richmond Group owns Mont Blanc. So they gave Minerva to Mont Blanc. And this is a product of one of those watches, hence the heritage with Minerva. On the back of the watch, it's engraved with uh, the Minerva fact, the old Minerva factory in Switzerland, which is gorgeous. Now, the watch has a Salita movement in it, um, but it's highly modified. The watch is not COSC certified, but in a sense, chronometer. This watch um, comes with a little booklet and each watch is tested on a quality test for over 500 hours. Not 500 hours straight, but 500 hours. You know, the dude does need to eat and sleep and all that stuff, right? So, um, and then after it's all tested, they have this nice little card and the guy who tested it signs it. So this is an actual signature and this comes with your watch. And it's a beautiful picture and that's what you get with this. This watch to me, and I, I know watches and I've had so many nice watches and I even had a Calatrava. To me, if you're, again, looking for an alternative to a Gégé Le Coute or a Calatrava, you can't beat this watch. Um, it keeps really good time. Sword style hands, uh, I think it's 28,800 VPH. And uh, again, with everyone, I've still really been bummed out with my other channel, but I'm doing the best I can with this new channel. So I really hope you guys, again, like I say, I, I don't want to keep pounding in to like and subscribe, but please like and subscribe. <laughs> so let's have a drink of beer and enjoy yourselves. All right, thanks.